Hello, welcome back again in the reading session of article title is Advanced Modulation Techniques for High Performance Computing Optical Interconnects. So there are what, what this title says, this says that advanced modulation techniques. So modulation is a process by which we changes the any characteristics of high frequency signal according to instantaneous value of low frequency signal. So that is the definition. And what are those characteristics of high frequency signal? Those may be the amplitude, then it is called amplitude modulation. If we, if we changes the frequency of high frequency signal, that is called frequency modulation. If we are changing the phase of the high frequency signal, that is the carrier signal, is called phase modulation. So, so now here we are discussing advanced modulation techniques. So the example which I have just told, these are the basic modulation technique. But in this paper, we are going to study about advanced modulation techniques. Now, the, what is the purpose? Purpose of this advanced modulation technique is for utilization in high performance computing, very, very high performance computing, optical interconnects. So the authors are, of this articles are Fotoni Karinao, Robert Borkovsky, Darko Zibar, Ionis Rodas, these are IEEE members, then Kiryoko Z. Vulakos, and Adolfonso Tafur Modroy. So these are the authors. So there are how many authors? One, two, three, four, five, six authors are there of this article. So let us start from abstract. So abstract tells about the gist of this article. It's like that. We experimentally assess the performance of 64 cross 64 optical switch fabric. Optical switch fabric used for nanosecond speed optical cell switching in supercomputer optical interconnect. So what is this here? In this article, they are assessing the performance of 64 into 64 optical switches. They are optical switches connected in particular array. And this is for nano speed optical cell in supercomputer optical interconnect. More specifically, we study four alternative modulation formats. So now they are coming. How many modulation formats? There are four modulation formats and detection schemes, namely 10 Gbps non return to zero differential phase shift key. Now, this is one modulation scheme is this non return to zero. It means light coding is in non return to zero. And modulation is given this differential phase shift key. So differential phase shift key. So this is the modulation scheme. As I was telling, if the phase of carrier is changed in accordance with the instantaneous value of modulating signal, so that is called phase modulation. But it is a special kind of phase modulation that is called differential phase shift key. Since we are dealing with the digital modulation scheme, so that is a key is nothing but a modulation. Now, differential shift key with balanced direct detection. So this is what is scheme 10 GBPS no return to zero differential phase shift key with balanced direct detection. 
So basically, balanced uh, direct uh, deduction is uh, is a uh, you know uh, 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 there is a uh, in which uh, light falls directly on photodetector and it is converted into electrical uh, equivalent electrical signal and then modulation uh, demodulation occurs. So that is that direct detection scheme which is just opposite to core detection scheme. Core detection scheme happen to be more efficient than the direct detection. But nevertheless, for this case, they have used an RZ TPSK with balanced direct detection. So modulation as well as demodulation scheme, both they have told in this. This is the number one. Number two is touch GPS polarization division multiplexed. So here, not only modulation, but multiplexing technique is also being used. That is 10 GBPS, polarization, division, multiplexed, quadrature, phase shift key. Now, this is QPSK. QPSK. QPSK means here phase is being changed, but the data point is arranged about 90 degree apart. So this is first data point or data signal. This is second, this is third, this is fourth. So they are in the quadrature phase shift key manner. So this is the second modulation scheme. Now, third one is 40 GBPS single polarization. 16 array quadrature amplitude modulation. So this 16 QM. So quadrature amplitude modulation. So again, so its its uh, constellation diagram will also be like that. But six is to sixteen. So the signal points like four here, then four may be further eight. Then further you can tell, or it may be two level also eight here, then eight at this side. But here we will see whether it is two level 16 QM or one level 16 QM. If 16 QM with one level, then the difference between these two signals are very less. So, uh, and the, there is another one that is called 80 GPPS polarization division multiplex 16 QAM. So, there are four types. So, first we have seen, first we have seen. Uh, the RZ based and RZ based differential phase shift key. Second one is second one is QPSK. Second one is not return to uh, second one is 10 GBPS. Yeah, polarization division PDM PDM as well as Q P S K. The third one, third one is here. Forty GBPS, sixteen array Q M. So third one is this sixteen Q A M modulation scheme. And now fourth one is eighty GBPS P D M sixteen Q A M. Uh, P D M polarization division multiplex. Then sixteen. Q A F Q A M. So two modulation schemes are Q A M quadrature amplitude and two are Q P S K. One is differential and another one is polarization division multiplex. So these are the four modulation schemes which have been used with core and intradyne. Actually, this is a new term which I come to know. There is a homodyne and the heterodyne. Now it is a heterodyne detection scheme that we have to look into. What is this third type? Homodyne, heterodyne, and now intradyne. Intradyne detection in conjunction with an optimized version of optical shared memory supercomputer interconnect system switch fabric. In particular, we investigate the resilience of the aforementioned advanced modulation formats 
to the dot linearities of semiconductor optical amplifier. So now they are assessing again the performance of this modulation forward over or to the dual linearities of semiconductor optical amplifier used as an odd of gates in the supercomputer optical switch fabric study uh, under study. Now, for the modulation purpose, it seems that semiconductor optical amplifier have been used. In addition, we compare their performance using as a benchmark the performance of conventional 10 Gbps intensity modulation direct detection. So this is again one modulation format, but for the comparison purpose, with, which is called conventional 10, G, 10 Gbps intensity modulation direct detection, IFDD. We show that the choice of the appropriate advanced modulation format can increase the capacity of the switch fabric while at the same time, it can mitigate the main non-linear effects, that is cross-gate modulation that arises when using conventional intensity modulation direct detection. Non-linear phase distortion becomes the main limiting factor when advanced modulation formats are used. So this is the limitation that non-linear effect when we increase the modulation order order of the modulation. We go for the this uh, more number of data as well as large number of constellation point. So these are the certain things which, which is coming from this abstract portion. So we'll start again this introduction session in next video.